What is up, Team Misfit Coaches? Sherb here to take you through Tuesday, January 31st, conditioning piece, which is going to be a team of three partner workout. Now, it's going to be a slightly unique workout, mostly because unlike some of the other ones where the goal is to race through things as fast as possible, there's going to be a little bit of like try to accumulate a lot of reps on some movements and in other movements, maybe a bit, a bit more cautious and more controlled as you do them to get a better stimulus from the workout. So I'm going to explain how this goes. Three, two, one, go. Partner one is going to perform max rope climbs. And later in this video, I'm going to show you a really interesting way on how to scale those if you have an athlete who's maybe a bit intimidated in climbing all the way up that isn't just simply lying on the ground and pulling themselves to standing. So while partner one performs as many rope climbs as they can, partner number two is going to perform a single dumbbell or kettlebell farmer's carry shuttle, which means they're going to hold one implement at their side and they're going to walk down and back for three lengths before switching to their left hand and walking down and back in three lengths. And then last but not least, partner three rest. This workout will rotate when partner number two completes their six shuttles. And again, it's really important to emphasize that these six shuttles aren't necessarily for time, but for quality. So now let's talk about those rope climbs. So here's another way to scale rope climbs that's simply not just a strict pull-up. Again, strict pull-ups are great, but here's a fun way to get athletes practicing the skills they need to be able to pull themselves up on the rope using the actual rope. So in this exercise, I'm going to have Kyle start seated on the floor, and I'm going to show you the most difficult version of this first and then show you steps on how to make it easier and easier as you go. So step number one, Kyle is seated with the rope kind of directly between his legs. He is then going to reach up as if he were going to do a normal rope climb. But here, the most difficult version, Kyle's going to pull himself until his chin is above his knuckles. He's going to try to do it with his full body weight coming off the floor. Good. Now, what I typically recommend is somewhere between three and five reps of those to equal one single rope climb. Now, let's say Kyle's not quite ready to pull his full body weight up. It's a good chance if Kyle can do what he just did, he probably can climb rope, and maybe he's still intimidated. But in case he's not ready to do that with his full body weight, in this next version, he can keep his heels on the floor and perform the exact same movement. So as Kyle pulls himself up, he'll stay down, chin is still getting above his knuckles. And then last but not least, the length of his body away from the rope or the more his feet get underneath his body, the easier this exercise is going to be. So the last step is going to be, Kyle, bring those heels closer to your butt. Still reach up nice and high. Still same goal of getting your knuckles, your chin above your knuckles. But this time as you stand, you can use your legs to assist you some to get all the way up. Now, again, the closer the heels are to the butt, the easier this is because then the legs can contribute more and more. But again, the goal here is to get the athlete pulling with as much of their own body weight as possible through their arms and as little through their legs. All right, coaches, last but not least, we have the single dumbbell farmer's carry shuttle. So I'm gonna have Kyle go ahead and grab his kettlebell and stand nice and tall. The number one concern with this movement is midline stabilization, make sure the athlete stays nice and tall. So as Kyle begins to walk forward, we don't see him tilt away from the implement in his arm. And go ahead and relax, Kyle. This workout's a little bit unique because in this situation, we're looking for the athlete to move a little bit more controlled and a little bit slower because we're trying to tax the midline as we walk back and forth, as opposed to running back and forth and allowing the athlete to turn. When it comes to your workout briefs and you're giving athletes ways to modify this workout, remember it's more important that you do this thing, these things correctly than just kind of rush through them. Give them an appropriate rope climb scale, give them a good version of these carries that allows them to practice midline stabilization, and they're going to get a better workout. If you like this video, hit that like button. We'll see you in the next one.